I'm Teacher Mariah and this is Lexi. Lexi <laughs> has this interesting little carriage here and it has something to do with the theme of the week. Dun, Can dun, you guess dun. what it is? Lots of places you can look to find the color purple, and lots of people find it. Do, 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 do. This is the color purple. This is also the color purple. Do, 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 do. Yay! Are you guys ready for our months of the year song? Well, guess what? It is set to Baby Shark. You ready? Let's go! January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what, what a good boy am I. Welcome to Circle Time Club. We are so super excited to see you here today. And guess what, Lexi, do you think we should start off our first day of this particular week doing our theme shelf? Yeah. I think the theme shelf is one of the most fun things about circle time and so we're going to start with our mystery box here. Lexi, can you hold our mystery box? Perfect. And I need you to hand me some stuff in from this mystery box so that we can build this empty shelf Whoa. and make it our theme shelf. Howdy, very pretty flower. Okay, we have a purple flower here. Let's stick that up here. We have these little removable mounting tabs. They really help um, to stick I bet if that in. flower was real, it would smell so I good. I bet it would. What else do we have? Ooh. Okay, so some we've got grapes. some grapes, purple grapes. There we go. What a pretty amethyst. Wow, it's an amethyst. That's the birthstone for February. I wonder, do we have any February birthdays out there? If so, that's your birthstone. Next. Let's see here. Ooh. More flowers. Some flowers here. Let's stick that in our theme shelf. Let's, Let's put it on it. the side. Let's put it on the side. Okay, next. Next we have a book. It's called The Three Billy Goats Grub. It's always so fun to decorate a theme shelf with a book. Always include a book. Maybe or, we will read that later. Maybe. Not in this particular one, but we'll read it later. Okay. Oh, I think you guys remember this. This is from our, our opener. We opened with this carriage. So let's stick that in there. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this, Lexi, what is this? I know you it's know It's a that. mouse hatchimal. It's a mouse hatchimal. Very cool. Let's put them right there. They call a mouse whiffed, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. And we have this interesting doll here. She's got some pretty purple hair. Let's actually put her in the carriage. Ooh, that looks very pretty. Yeah, let's stick her up. We're having a little, little trouble here. Oops. Let me help. Okay. okay. Perfect. Ooh, my my uh, cat's brush. Okay, so explain to the kids what this is, Lexi. Okay, this is a brush that I actually used for my cat because I have a calico cat. Um, very cute, named Kitty. <laughs> and um. So you brush her with this. Yeah. This is one of Lexi's chores. She does it every single day. Except on the days when I don't have to do my chores. That's right. Sundays we don't do the chores. Next. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So cute. It's a purple and pink little giraffe. Next. 
Ooh, a speedy race car. Speedy race car. We're getting a nice full theme shell. What else do we have in here? Mmm, -hmm. mm, berries, yum. <laughs> Whoa, we got an egg. We have an eggplant. Okay. And a purple onion. Is that it, Lex? Nope. We're almost done. A few things left. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a wand, and if you turn turn it you'll Ta -da! see Ta -da! it's got some really pretty purple glitter in it Whoa. yeah that's cool let's stick that on our theme show we got one more thing one more thing and this is clarabelle right that's her name honey yeah. clarabelle cow so we're gonna stick that in there wow i think we did a great job on our theme shelf guys can you tell what the theme of the week might be well, if you haven't figured it out already, we're going to do our theme board next. All right, guys. Well, ta-da! Here's our finished theme shelf. If you haven't guessed it, the theme of the week is purple. So let's build our weekly theme board now. Lexi, give me the header for our quarter. So as you know, we are in quarter one colors. So we're just going to put that right there. And then the theme of the week is... Purple! Purple! So we're going to just put that right there. That tells us we're in the purple week. And we have some sentence cards. And what we'll do is we'll change these every day. But this first sentence card is grapes are purple. Three words in that sentence. You know what, we, guys? We're going to change this on the fly. We're going to move that up. Okay. We've got grapes are purple. What, what do we have here? What does this say, Lexi? Paint can be purple. Paint can be purple. We're going to put that right there. And last but not least for our theme board, we have our nursery rhyme that we did earlier, which was Little Jack Horner. And we're going to put that right here. There we go. Ta-da! Theme board done! It's time for our wake up warm ups today, and today we are going to be looking at our flashcards. Now, I know you guys are getting really familiar with these, so we're going to be doing something at the desk. We're also going to be looking at some household objects flashcards, but meet me at the desk and we'll do our wake up warm ups along with Lexi. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me at the desk. So, what we're going to do today is a game because you guys have been doing such a great job with your colors, flashcards. So what the game is, it's gonna be, I'm gonna say a word and it's going to be something. And it's gonna be something that is usually a certain color. So when I say the word, I want you to say out loud what the color is, okay? So we're, Lexi and I are gonna do the first one together. So Lexi, stop sign. Red. Very good. Okay, so a stop sign is red. So now I'm going to say some more colors and, or it's not, not colors, things, and you're going to say out loud what the color is. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Basketball. A basketball is orange. Amethyst. Do you guys remember what color an amethyst is? Hmm. It's purple and amethyst Ooh. is purple. Great job. Sun. What color is the sun? Now you never look into a sun, obviously you never look at the sun directly, but it's yellow. The sun is yellow. Ooh. What about a skunk? What color is a skunk? A skunk is black. It also has some white stripes, but most of its body is black. One time we actually had a skunk in our backyard. And let's see, how about a flamingo? What color Ooh. is a flamingo? That's right. A flamingo is pink and they get their pink color from all the food and the shrimp that they eat. F is for a flamingo. Very good. Now, what about the sky? What color is the sky? That's right, the sky is blue. 
Okay, next up we've got grass. What color is grass? Almost like a grasshopper, but just uh, not the hopper part. Right, grass without the hopper, <laughs> it's just grass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great job, guys. It is green, it is grass. Next up, we have a tree trunk. What color is a tree trunk? That's right. A tree trunk is brown. Okay. Um, Bark is also brown. Yes. Now, what about a cloud? What color are the clouds? Hmm. That's right. Clouds are white. Now, of course, clouds also turn gray when they have water in them, but generally, Clouds are white. We could even say cotton balls are white. And let's see. Let's see. Have we done all the colors? You don't have to color in clouds. Let me confer with my assistant here to see if I've done all my colors. Let's see if I've done all my colors. Um, let's see if I am. I'm pretty sure. Okay. We think we have done all of, the, all of the colors, guys. If we have not, play this game with your caregiver and try to guess the colors. Bye-bye. Bye. This is... A bed. This is... A chair. This is... A laundry basket. This is... A table. This is... A sofa. This is... A dresser. Nice job. Now let's talk about this laundry basket. You know one thing that Lexi does every morning and it's really, really helpful and every night too after the shower is that she puts her clothing in the laundry basket. So when you're done with your clothes for the day, you need to put it in the laundry basket. It really can help out around the house. So please try to do that this week. Now we're gonna go back through these flashcards and I want you to show me the one that I say, okay? Show say. me, okay, Alexi's going to say it. So, show me a table. Great job. Show me a hmm. laundry basket. Great job. Show me a bed. That's right, that's the bed. Show me a dresser. Nice job. And last but not least, show me a chair. Good job. Thanks. Okay, wait. Actually, we're going to do another part of this lesson. Yep. Now, I'm going to shuffle these all up. And when I put this down, I want you to tell me what it is. What is this? Hmm. That's right. It's a bed. Yep. What is this? Hmm, begins with an S. That's my only hint. That's correct. It's a sofa. Yep. What is this? Hmm. It's a dresser. Oh, yeah. Good job. What is this? A hmm. Hmm. Now that's something that we we eat at. That's correct. A table. Nice job, kids. And then we've got here. Got what is that? That's where you put your clothes when you're done with them. Yep, we talked about it. It's the laundry basket. And last but not least, what is that? Hmm. A chair. I sit them on all, I'm sit on them all the time. Yep, we sit on chairs all the time. <laughs> all right, well, good job. You are done with your wake up warm ups for the day. Woohoo! Woo! W is for wake up warm up. Great job on your wake up warm ups. Well, it's time now to cozy up because Teacher Ashley is going to read us a story. Today's book is Lunchtime for a Purple Snake, written by Harriet Ziefert. Paintings by Todd McKee. My name is Jessica. 
when I'm big, I want to be an artist, just like my grandpa. She painted a picture of her grandpa here. I love to visit my grandpa's studio. When I go there, we paint together. Grandpa cleans off his drawing table. Then he puts a big piece of paper in the middle. Grandpa fills the water pots. He cleans a palette and squeezes five colors of paint. Red, yellow, blue, black, and white. I want more colors, but Grandpa says, five are enough to make all the colors of the rainbow. Grandpa teaches me to mix colors. Do you know that a little red and a little blue make purple? A little red and a little yellow make orange. A little blue and a little yellow make green. Black makes a color darker. But you have to add black slowly. If you add too much, it makes the paint the color of mud. White makes a color lighter. Look, a dab of red and a dot of white. Mix them together and you have pink. Sometimes I put too much paint on the brush. It drips and I make a big blob. I get mad. Grandpa says, it's all right, Jessica. All artists make mistakes. And sometimes you can turn a mistake into something good. Grandpa helps me and we turn the blob into meatballs and spaghetti. I want to add a little Parmesan cheese, but Grandpa warns me that if I keep on painting, the picture will go dead. I'm not exactly sure what Grandpa means, but I'm willing to believe him. I say, okay, no cheese. I'm done. And look, she signed her name. Grandpa likes to listen to music while he works, so he turns on jazz music. Then he unrolls a clean piece of paper. He says, don't start right away. Take time to choose your colors. Try to make the painting sing. Okay, Grandpa, I'll try to make the colors sing. I start on one side of the big piece of paper. What are you making? Grandpa asks. I answer that I'm making a slithery snake. Then I'll make a bug for him to eat, says Grandpa. I'll give it six green legs and some light green stripes on its back. While Grandpa paints the bug, I clean my brush. When he's done, I dip my brush into black and say, now I'll make a rock for the snake to slither on. And I'll make a flower for him to look at, Grandpa says. A great big flower with orange petals and a blue center. I watch Grandpa carefully paint tiny dots in the center of the flower. Then I say, I'll make a sun to keep the snake warm while he's catching bugs. And so we paint. Fluffy clouds, nice green grass, pretty plants, and two blue birds until our picture is finished. Then Grandpa puts the painting on a line so it can dry, just like laundry. He asks me for a title. I think a little, then I give my answer. Lunchtime for a purple snake. I hope you enjoyed Lunchtime for a Purple Snake, written by Harriet Ziefert. Friends, 
Thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Let's see what we have coming up next in our math notebook. I know the number six begins on page 21. Page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, here's 21. So, do you remember what the color of the week is? Purple. When you come to page 21, you can color in your numeral six with the color purple. With teacher or caregiver support, you can use your scissors to cut out the square and glue it into your math notebook. And what do we have hiding under here? Hmm, our tens frame. Let's count the dots today. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six purple dots. That is page 21 in our math notebook. Hello friends, today we have a fun craft for you to complete with the help of your teacher or caregiver. This is called the tissue paper flower craft. Here's what we will be completing. To complete this craft, you will need tissue paper, purple would be great, a pipe cleaner, green, or whatever color you want, pony beads, whatever color you want, a pencil, scissors, and something round you can trace. Here's what you'll do. So you're going to take your tissue paper and whatever you have that's round and you're going to place it on top. Take your pencil and trace around it. And then go lift it up and you'll take your scissors and you'll cut around those. And you should get something that kind of looks like this. And then you're going to take your pencil and poke through them like this. So you'll have a little hole in the middle. And then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and stick it through so it goes up. And make sure you have some space over there. So you're gonna pull it up for about here. And then you'll take whatever color pony bead you want. I'm going to do pink. And you're going to put it in. And then you're going to push it back into the hole you have. And pull it from the bottom. Be very careful so it doesn't rip. Pull very carefully. And then you're gonna wrap it around at the bottom so your bead stays in. And then you're going to take your piece of tissue paper and you're gonna kind of crumble it on here so it kind of looks like a flower because that's what they did on the picture here. So you're gonna kind of crumble it in different ways and it should look like this when it's finished. And you can do however many as you want. So we have a few uh, others here. You can do different colors too, but purple is our project today. I hope you enjoyed this craft. I can't wait to see what you create. Friends, it's Play-Doh time. Today we are going to make grapes using our purple Play-Doh. <laughs>
so much for being a part of Circle Time Club today with Home CEO Academy. It was so wonderful to be able to share this time with you. Now, when you go back and you do these activities, remember to make them special and unique to you. And we'd love to see them. Write to us sometime if you'd like to share your theme board or your theme shelf or the art projects or any of the other activities. Remember how special and loved you are and have a wonderful rest of your week. You could be larger than